News Live Storm Team. Thanks for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam. Hazy, hot, and humid conditions continue and still a bit breezy out there here in the Fargo Moorhead area. Just a few clouds around off to our north and the northwest. Sunny skies here though, 91. It feels like 98. Winds out of the southeast, 16 miles per hour. They'll remain breezy as we head through the rest of the evening along and west of the Red River. Some rather warm temperatures. We got into the mid 90s at a few locations. We dropped down into the low 90s, 93 Oaks, Valley City, Jamestown, and in Devils Lake, 91 Grand Forks and Langdon. Some low and mid, even a few upper 80s as you head on over into Minnesota. Heat index values, especially along and west of the Red River, close to 100. Just a few clouds in our region and underneath those clouds, just a few showers, some very small showers. And actually, now one small thunderstorm popping on up. You see one bolt of lighting there to the northwest of Ada there, just to now about to cross uh, the Red River over into Minnesota. Another one popping up west of Grand Fork. So, chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm. These are rather small, but we'll continue to keep an eye on those. If you do get one of those, lucky enough to cool your temperatures down just a touch, but unfortunately, it's going to add more moisture to the air, more humidity. Some big time storms off to our west, those drifting slowly off towards the north and northeast. If those hold together, and they might, Later on tonight, very early tomorrow morning, could see a isolated shower storm in the Devil's Lake Basin. Lots of shower and storms lining up all the way up and down the Rockies and off towards the east. Lots of shower and storms also lining up from the Great Lakes down into the mid-Atlantic and southeastern portions of the U.S. For us, as we head through the evening, we do have the uh, isolated showers and the storms out there. And we'll see that chance as we head through the evening hours, but that will quickly go on away. And it looks like my map apparently has, has gone. There it is. It's back now. Overnight lows tonight dropping out you know, into the 70s in most locations. As we head through the day tomorrow, we'll see a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms early on in the day. Those will move off towards the north. More will fire later on in the afternoon and evening hours, and some of those could be strong and perhaps severe as we head through the day tomorrow with more clouds around and more rain around. Some cooler temperatures uh, topping out in the 80s in most locations. Slight risk of severe weather tomorrow. Marginal risk of slighter, smaller risk in the uh, dark green, and those risks are damaging winds, damaging hail and a very small risk for an isolated tornado or two. For Fargo, as we head through the day tomorrow, 70 to start off, increasing clouds by the noontime hour into the low 80s, and later on in the day, getting on up into the upper 80s with that chance for some showers and storms. And again, some of those could be on to the strong side. Another chance for some strong storms on your Saturday, mid 80s. On your Sunday, more storms. Labor Day, much cooler. And we're gonna continue with those cool temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures in the low 70s. Overnight low is cooling into the mid 40s. So after a hot day today, maybe a touch of fog tomorrow morning and then a chance for some storms later well, on. Enjoy the, the heat while it's here. Maybe it's that, not going to be around forever. Not right around the corner as fall. <laughs> <laughs> later in sports, a live look from the big debut of Shields Field. Dragon football is underway in Moorhead. But first, we look at Fargo Cass Public Health's big move to its new location.